Hey guys, this is Jeff with 9 and 2 Training, and today we're going over the Major League Baseball Grading Scale. And today we're bringing you Baseball America's 20 to 80 scale, which is a very credible source um, throughout the industry. And the scale is 20 to 80. That's what Major League Scouts work off. So 20 is like the bottom of the barrel, 50 is average, and 80 is, you know, like a Ross Chapman's fastball. That's an 80. Um, so the reason I'm bringing this to you is, and I, I know it's, you know, not pretty, I just wrote this up, but um, the reason I'm bringing this to you is if you're a senior in college and you're wondering why the scouts aren't coming, um, you might be a freshman in college wondering how do you get the scouts to come two, three years from now. Um, you might be a high school kid wondering how do I get drafted out of high school, what do I need to do, um, you know, what goals do I need to set. Or you might be a high school kid saying, I want to play at the highest level, SEC, ACC. You know, even to go to one of those schools and get a good amount of scholarship, you need to have a couple of these average to plus grades, at least future grades, to be able to be a guy that qualified to get some serious athletic scholarship at those big schools. Um, so it's pretty, it's pretty much for everybody who's trying to reach the highest level they can in baseball, you're going to need to understand what goals you need to achieve to get this, you know, to catch the scout's attention. Every team does it a little bit different, you know, the 20, not since every team, but a lot of, some teams do it different on the 20 to 80 scale. Not everybody's is exactly like this, but this is a ballpark, pretty close um, to pretty much the generic 20 to 80 scale of major league organizations. Now what they do is they have a present and future grade. So if a 91-92 fastball is an average major league fastball, that's an average major league fastball. That's not what you hit. It's pretty much what you sit and it's your comfort zone. You sit for a good part of the game, 91-92. Um, you know, if, if they have you in high school at 88-89, you're 6'3", 175 pounds, and you're sitting at 88-89, that's a 40 fastball. It's a below average fastball. They will give you a present grade of a 40, but they might give you a future grade of a 55 or 60 because they know you're going to fill out, mature, and, you know, by the time you're 25, 27 years old, you might have a 55, 60 fastball. Um, so, so if you're a high school kid throwing 88, 89, don't think, oh, man, I'm screwed. I got 40 fastball. Um, now, if you're a college senior and you're throwing 88 to 89, they're probably not going to give you your, your present grades of 40. You know, they're probably not going to give you a 60 future grade or a 55 future grade. You're probably lucky to get like a 45 future grade on the fastball. So that's how the fastball is. So 85 or less, that's at 20 fastball. 80 is 97 or above. And like I said, 50 is 91 to 92, comfort zone. Um, now, the 60-yard dash. Obviously, when you go to all these workouts, you, the first thing you do is run the 60 most of the time. So an average 60-yard dash, and like I said, I didn't do half grades. You know, they have 45 and 55 and 65. I just kept it simple. I didn't do half grades. Um, so generic, you know, generically, a 6'9", 60 is a 50, 60-yard dash. That's a major league average 60-yard dash is a 6'9". Um, when you start getting into 6'85", you're starting to become a tick above average, like a 55 runner. So a 50 is a 6'9". You'll be major league average. A major league average, I know the word average sounds bad. But if you have five average tools, you're a five-tool player. So 6'9 is an average tool. 6'4'4 four, four less is 80. If you're running 6'4'4 four, four less, that's an 80 tool. Everything in between is you know, 60, 70. And a 7'4'5 you know, or above, that's a 20 runner. And this is the home to first. So home to first is by the time you, know, when you make contact with the ball until you hit first base. So they're clicking it when you make contact, and they're clicking it when you hit first base. So an average runner from the right side is 4-3. An average runner from the left side is 4-2. Obviously, left-hand hitters are going to get out of the box quicker than a right-hand hitter. Or, you know, going to get to first base quicker. So, 4-3 is average. 4-2 from the left side is average. 4-6, 4-5, those are 20 runners. And if you're running a 4-flat from the right side, you're an 80 runner. And 3-9 from the left side, you're an 80 runner, which is top of the chart, um, you know, top of the scale. So, then you move over to pop time. You know, a 195, 204, Baseball America has that as a 50. Generically, pretty much industry-wide, a 20 is an average pop time. You have an average arm at a 2-0. Um, you know, and pop time, obviously, is when the ball hits the catcher's mitt, and then when the ball hits the middle infielder's mitt, you know, second base. Um, so 2 is average. 2 two, five, or above is 20. Um, one seven four or below is an 80. So... That's, that's the pop time, um, and, and, and these are the only four numbers I could give you that you know, are hard numbers that you can you know, kind of aspire to, to reach.